Greetings, wonderful viewers. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to show you how to make buttons, a rag doll that I created because I want to share my love for doll making with you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I am going to do more tutorials on how to make dolls because this is what I do when I'm not on YouTube. So I might as well really share the real me with you. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Go to my Jungle Beauty Goddess blog spot to download the pattern for this tutorial. The link is in the description box below. Thank you. I just learned this actually just maybe, maybe a year ago and I've been sewing now for almost seven years is that you don't cut off the pattern because it was difficult to sew around it. So make sure that you, like you see in the picture, you draw the pattern on a piece of fabric and you're going to sew around the fabric. Uh, please take your time. I was a little anxious because I always get nervous when the camera is on, even, if, even though it's just no one is around. But take your time and you're going to, to sew completely around the pattern. After you sew around the pattern, and by the way, you can also do this by hand. I sewed my first four dolls completely by hand. Um, my boyfriend bought me a sewing machine for Christmas and I didn't know how to thread it. And I had to take it to Joann's so that someone could teach me how to thread my sewing machine. And then even after that, for I think like maybe the first two or three years, I still was kind of like a little bit intimidated by it. Like I was, every time the thread would run out, I would think, oh my God, what's going to happen? So um, again, you can sew this doll by hand because because I want to share my love for doll making with other people and if you don't feel comfortable with the sewing machine don't worry about it just sew it by hand but the thing I want you to do is when you find a marker to uh, trace the pattern make sure you use a I think I don't, these are they're markers that they disappear after a while I can't I think they're like disappearing markers you can get them from Joanne's or Michael's and you can also use chalk but i found that if you use a green ink pen depending on the type of fabric you use i recommend that you use corduroy I'm, I'm using a corduroy pattern for this because i wanted something a little more rugged looking because you know she's a rag doll but um if you use like a green pen or a white pen like with the uh, ink it doesn't bleed through to the other side so that you'll be able to see the marks and so even if you saw it with a sewing machine or if you saw it by hand the marks will not show so as you can see in the video after you finish sewing around the pattern you're going to simply cut it out uh, again please take your time and leave a little space sewing when you start to stuff it it won't um, you know uh, pull apart but just be very careful and after you sew I'm sorry after you cut the pattern out you are going to as you can see you're going to place a line in the back of the doll and you're going to give yourself some space you're going to flip the pattern inside out and then you're going to begin to stuff it now when you're stuffing the pattern, make sure, for me personally, I like to get the ears, um, the bottom of the feet, like into the heel, or if, if we're making a different type of doll, the toes, get those little nice little crevices first because after you start stuffing, those spaces will no longer be available. And so, yeah, so start with the little spaces and please, even though the video, I, have, I sped it up, 
uh, about eight times, sometimes 12, 16 times. So it's moving pretty fast, but you need to be really gentle so that you do not tear your pattern. Um, so, and you know what? And another thing I noticed too is that the mood that I'm in actually affects my doll making. So if I'm in a really grumpy mood or if I'm kind of anxious, my doll has a lot of lumps in her, in her, you know, in the stuffing. Um, but if I'm in a good mood, everything, <laughs> no, this is crazy, everything turns out, you know, pretty well. So um, just make sure you're in a good mood. And as you see here, make sure you get the ear first. I like, you know, big ears. I like all of the features to be prominent, but if you don't like them, make them smaller for yourself. You want to keep stuffing your doll until it feels nice and taut. So if you were to like pluck it a little bit, it would have a little bit of a hollow sound like if you were plucking a watermelon. My favorite, my favorite um, fiber fill is Mountain Mist and Morning Glory. Even though I use different types of like poly fill, they really are just too soft for me. Um, these, uh, the Mountain Mist and the Morning Glory, they, um, you can pack it really tight and your doll has uh, a little weight to her. I mean, it's a little bit heavier, but to me, what I really like about the Morning Mist and the morning I'm sorry yeah the mountain mist and the morning glory is that it really fits nicely into look like, the little nooks and crannies
As you can see, I am now sewing the back of the doll together. I am using what is called a ladder stitch. And what you do is you sew, um, you take the needle on one side and then you, like you cross the street and then you put it in on, you, you know, place it in the other side. And what you'll find is you'll have a very neat closing. This is, to me, this is the hardest thing for me to learn because most of the time when people talked about it or if they had, um, you know, pictures, I really didn't understand what was going on. So it took me a minute to get it. But I hope you can see I'm going from one side to the other. And as you can see, there is a very nice, clean, um, and I don't, wanna, I don't know the proper word for it, but it's, it comes together very nicely. So now you want to cut out the doll, the doll's eyelids, and I am using a variety of buttons to create the doll's facial features. And this is what her name is, Buttons. It's, got, it's so funny. Um, she told me her name is Buttons, <laughs> and um, it's I kind of dr I dreamt about her. So I um, went ahead and I found all of these buttons at Joanne's. Giants have some wonderful coupons and um, in the next video I am going to show you how to you know place all the features on on buttons how to create a yarn um, yarn hair for your doll and her outfit and the whole nine and so I look forward to seeing you in the next video and th thank you so much for watching